I became a, I became a father recently for the first time about 16 months ago. And it's a really, it's a weird cut. You know, you want to be a good, you want to be a good parent. You don't want to say stupid cut. You know what I mean? Because parents can say some stupid shit, eh? I remember my mom used to tell me all the time, young man, if you fall off that hall and break your leg, don't come running to me. <laughs> I come from a different generation, but now you can't move your kids anymore. You can't move your kids. So I want to be a smart parent. I want to find a way to communicate with my, my kids. You know, you can't move your kids anymore because they got like child services on speed dial. Now. <laughs> so you come close to them, they're like, ah, ah, ah. I come from the generation eh, where the neighbors were allowed to move me. <laughs> and mess around back then. The neighbors were allowed to move me. So you, you know, you get home from school at about half past two and your parents get home at five. That's two and a half hours to catch on cut. So the neighbors caught me and they said, hey, the neighbors jumped in there. And my mom came home from work. I thought, my savior, my mom is going to save me. Cut. It was like WWF tag team. My mom just jumped in there as well. And she had a threat all those years. You just wait until your father gets out of jail. <laughs> Mom tunes you go fetch the belt. Now the belt had a spot and everybody's got a belt, eh? If it's not a belt, it's a stick or some cut they used to move you with, eh? And it's in a cupboard somewhere. You go fetch the belt. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you take that belt out the cupboard. <laughs> And you check the tune yourself, wait, I'm gonna hit it once or twice like that, just to check what it's like, like foo, foo, there, there. <laughs> And you scheme, what you're gonna do is look as sorry as possible for yourself so you won't get moved there. <laughs> you're like quasi motor with a belt. <laughs> and your mom had a line all those years, you're like, oh, you scheme nice, nah, she's gonna feel sorry for me, she's not gonna move me. Your mom's like, oh. You want something to cry about? <laughs> I will give you something to cry about. And here comes, here comes, I will give you a good hiding. I've had a lot of hidings in my life, people, they're all cuck. Not one good one. And we notice when they do get down to giving you that hiding, and we notice every word is a shock, right? Why don't you listen? Can I talk right now? You know that song. And they always go with it. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey. 